All right. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, today is Daf uh, Kufches. Uh, we left off in the bottom of Daf uh, Kufzayin, uh, four lines from the bottom. Omar Shmuel, Hayishit Yodo Lamai Behema, the Didel Uber Shemeo Chayev. Person goes ahead and he sticks his hand, right, basically into a pregnant cow, um, and I guess moves around, uh, I guess the the, the uterus. And, and basically, the uber, the fetus dies. Chai, if the person is chai, my time was reason. I'm a rabba bar hamude asrili la asrili la vamarav sheishas. Hi man, the talish kashusa mehezi mi vehegi mechai. Right? Meshum oiker davar mi giduo. Right? It's no similar than that which grows some, uh, I guess, hops that grow from the area. I guess where it grows from. It says. Uh, not sure exactly how hops grow, but it doesn't, uh, I guess, grow from necessarily the ground, but it's sort of uh, from the air, from the briars and brambles, whatever those are, right? So it, it, the, the hops, I guess, uh, nourishes from there. And one removes that is basically detach it. He's detaching something that it grows from, even though it's not necessarily growing from it, like, you know, like a tree or plants grow from the ground. So Achanami Soto over here, a person goes ahead and basically you know, moves around and basically kills the fetus. Right? He's basically uprooting something that uh, that it comes from where where you know where it grows from. So Amar Abai, so Abai says, "Hi man, the Talash Pitra Miuna the Chatzva." A person who goes ahead and he removes basically the fungus that grows from a Pitra, which is like a from a pitcher. Mechayev, the Shum Aiker Dava Megidulo. That he's high for also once again moving the, the growth of the fungus that that grew from that uh, where it was growing. So Mesiv Rav Oishia had toilesh miotzit nakuv chayiv shenu nakuv pater. One goes and pulls out something which is growing from the ground with a hole in it. So then it's considered like it's attached to the ground. He's chayiv, but if there's no hole, then he's pater. So why is he pater over there? Why isn't he chayiv for uh, being uh, detaching something uh, from migidulo? So Asam Lam Haina the Rabbi say. Because over there, that's not the normal place for it to grow. Since it's not the normal place for it to grow, that's not considered to be, it's not normal to grow from something which is detached from the ground. So therefore, that's not considered to be um, as opposed to removing some sort of, you know, fungus from the, uh, the cover of pitcher. That one will be chayev for. So chayev, so now, all right, two dots. So chayev of the chule, so quote from Mishnah, we talked about chayev of in terms of um, uh, trapping. So Amar Avuna Koisvin Tfilin Al Gabi Or Shal Of Tavar. One is allowed to go ahead and write Tfilin on the hides of a kosher bird. So Amar Avya Yisiv Mai Kamashmal. We'll come and teach you the East Luhu Or. You come and you come and teach me that that has hide. Tanina, we already know that birds have hide because it's because we learn Hachayiv Ben Hachayiv. One who goes ahead and causes a wound there is Chayiv. Now we learn that that one is Chayiv for causing a wound because basically the blood collects underneath the hide. And, then, and if it wasn't hide, it wouldn't collect there. So therefore, we see, we already know that there is hide in birds. So if it was from the Mishnah, since there's holes in the hide, basically for the feathers, low, maybe you'd say it's not good enough to write for Phil and Kamash Malon. Come to teach us that which you learn in Eretz Yisrael. Kol nekev shadiyoy oiveres olav ene nekev. Any hole, basically, that these small, tiny holes that basically get filled up as the ink goes over it, right? So therefore, those holes, um, those are not considered holes because those get filled up. So meis ve'asir kasher abzeira. It says of there b'knafav. It says of there by an ola by a bird. It says basically, you you go ahead and you burn it with its feathers. La hachsher es or to go ahead and to include the hide with the bird. Now normally when you skin the animal when you go ahead and you burn it, okay? So over here, it says by the, by the bird, right, to include the hachshas or. The v'yisagadayasach or, who, if you're telling me that it's or, hechi marbi lekro, how could the pasta include it? Don't we normally by an ola uh, not go ahead and, uh, and burn the hide? Sarvalei abaye, or who, v'rachman of the rabia, yes, it actually it is considered to be, or it is hide, and that's the whole chiddush of the pasta, that even the hide of a bird, it is burnt as opposed to an animal. And he could some have a different version. Amar of Zera, Tanina. We also learned Miknafov. It says over there by a bird that you, you burn it all. Sorry, where are we? We are um, like I don't know, 15, 20 lines from the top of Kufches Amar Aleph. I think it's right at the end of one hundred eight A one. Okay, thank you. So Avonim Tanina, Miknafov, the Rabbis is or 
it says over there, you, you burn it with its feathers to include the or, right? To include the, uh, to, to include the hide. Now, if you're telling me that the bird, its skin, or it's, it's considered to be hide, that makes sense. Why the pasta is telling is normally hide is not burnt with the animal. And here it's telling me by the Ola of the bird, it is burnt. However, uh, if you're telling me it's not considered to be hide, am I used to why does the, the pasta come to include it, 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 it right? Uh, it, in other words, if it's just considered to be skin, of course it gets, you know, or part of the flesh, of course it gets burned with it. Really, it's not considered to be hide. It's really part of the skin. And nevertheless, uh, so, so what's the chiddush? Why do you have to tell me that it's also burnt with if it's anything that's not hide is always burnt with the bird or with the ola? Since over there, basically, there's all the holes in there, they, you know, where the feathers are, and maybe it's gross, and therefore maybe we should also detach that before burning it. Come on, you go ahead and you burn it. So, so the Shaila was asked, from What is the regarding writing tefillin, using writing for as the parchment, the high of a kosher fish? So, okay, when Elio Navi comes, let him tell us. What does it mean if Elio Navi comes and tells us? If you're telling me, he has to tell us whether or not fish have considered to be hide. Right? First of all, we see that they do have hide. Furthermore, we learn in the Mishnah, we learn explicitly it says, that the bones of a fish and the hide of a fish can protect from tumas mace when it comes to tumas oil, right? If it's something that's in a clee and that clee is covered, if it's covered with the hide, uh, it's gonna cause it a hide of a fish. So obviously fish have hide. So you see that fish do have hide and therefore one should be able to go ahead and write filling on it. So what do you need Elio Navi for? So Ella, im yavo Elio, yomar, i pasca zuma mine, ilo i pasca zuma mine. Rather, it could be that since basically the, the hide of the fish is still gross, Right, Elio Navi will paskin as to whether the, the zuma, the grossness, right, um, that is still applies to the hide of the fish, and if it does, or whether it doesn't, whether or not it could be used for its filling. So Shmuel, the Karna have Yosvi, Abud Nara Malka. So Shmuel and Karna, uh, both uh, Shmuel, obviously, we know Karna was also a name of a Tamachacham. They were sitting uh, by the banks of the Nara Malka, Chazina Lamaya, the Kodal, the Kiri. So they, they saw that the water was like upset. It was, it was like coming up, it, there was a lot of waves and it wasn't windy out. So Shmuel said to Karna, Right? So he so said Shmuel to Karna, he says, I can see that a great man is coming from the West, from Eretz Israel. He's coming here to Bavel and he has stomach problems. He has stomach problems, he has to go to the bathroom frequently and he's traveling in basically in a boat and when he has to go to the bathroom so basically the waters are coming up to sort of protect him and so people won't see him go to the bathroom so he's something's wrong with his stomach he has intestinal uh, problems he's coming here to uh you know to be cured so he told him right go ahead and basically go ahead and 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 and, and smell right his keg right basically Go ahead and see and test this guy. See if he's a Tamil Chacham. You, Karna, go find this man. See if he's a Tamil Chacham. And if he is, bring it back to me. So I'll just ask the Rav. So he saw and who was this person? This person who was coming was Rav. So he says, he says, he wanted to test him. How do you know that you can only go ahead and write Tzfilin on a kosher animal, on the height of a kosher animal? I'm related to see the Pasuk says, Laman Tiyat Taras Hashem Beficha. Right? It says, in order that the Torah Hashem should be in your mouth, so therefore, only you only write tefillin on things that are kosher to put in your mouth, i.e. from kosher animals, because you put them in your mouth. And how do we know that blood, which is a tame, is red? So he answers, it says, It says the water was red like blood. So you see that that, that which is matame is blood that's red. And how do we know that mila? Is done the that, Isamakum that that we do the Mila in the in the place where we do it now. How do we know that that's the place? So Nemar Khan Orlaso, it says over here, right, his fort right or Lasso, the Nemar Lahalon Orlaso, and it says over there, Orlaso by the trees, right? The trees the first three years is Orla, it's blocked. 
So it's blockage. Just like over there, it was trees and something which I said pre, which makes fruit. So to over here, the makom, where we do the mila, is the place where a person is where he has seed from. So, Ema Libo. Okay, if you're learning from the word Allah, so let's say it's uh, maybe it's something to do with the heart. Right? And you go ahead and, right, and then you cut off the, the, the orla of their hearts. Or Ema Oznam, or maybe his ears. Right? So you use over there, Orla Oznam, from their ears. So, our answer is now done. Orla So, Tema, Orla So, Tema. We use, we learned the word Orla So, uh, whole, complete. That, in other words, we're not, it was not mentioned as part of the body. From and knows the, the where it says or lasso by brismila and it says or lasso by the orla tree. They ain't done or lasso tema mir las chain tema. We we don't learn or lasso from brismila or from the other cases of the the, the uh, you know for the brismila to or las uh, you know heart or las osno because that's not a that's that is not as inclusive as this one. So Amr Le, so after he passed the test, he passed all three uh, uh, you know all three Torah uh, questions. Amr Leish Mashimecha. So Rav said back to him, he says, okay, you knew what's your name, Mr. Questioner? So he says, Karna, right? My name is Karna. So I'm like, hey, Rav, the typically Karna Bene, right? You should have a, a horn in your eye. So he basically, he cursed him, you know, I guess for, for testing him, right? For testing him. So he said, you should have a horn in your eye. So the Saif, I Shmuel, basically. In the end, Shmuel brought him to his home. And Uchla Nama de Saira, he fed him bread made of barley, the Kassid Hirsna, and also, I guess, um, uh, um, uh, water, I guess, from 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 fish juice, right? Ashke shikra, and he also he 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 drank um, uh, beer. Achvile the basic piece, and and Shmuel, I guess, prevented him from going to the bathroom. I guess he wanted his stomach to, I guess, uh, you know, uh, you know, heal better or not be able to go to the bathroom um, for a while in order that. So v'lachvile the basic piece, he hechad lishat the lish talshel, and they should, you know, be, have uh, you know, have diarrhea. So Lai Rav, so Rav cursed the host, Shmuel, the Amar Mad Matsaran, Le Lukme Le Bene, the one who is basically causing me distress, i.e., this host, Shmuel, he should not have any sons, right? That should outlast him. And it was because uh, Shmuel only had daughters and not sons. Fine, two dots. Now the Gemara says actually Kitanai with Machos Tanaim as to the source of how we know the Malcolm versus Mila. So my let me know Shabai Samakum. How do we know that the Mila takes place where it does? So it says over here by Bris means Lar Lasso, but I'm a Lar Lasso, and it says over there by a tree, Lar Lasso. Malo never shall you separate. Just like over there, it was talking about a tree that makes fruit, Afkan never shall you separate. So it's over here, something that makes fruit, i.e., where a person, uh, you know, is, um, has children from. Even Rabbi Yeshia, that's the opinion of Rabbi Yeshia. And Rabbi Nasir, I'm a Ainat Sarech, you don't need that. Hare who I mean, the positive says, the Ardel Zachar, Asher lo email as Besar Lasso. It says Ardel Zachar. It mentions the word Zachar. Right, so Malcolm Shanika Ben Zachar So it's in other words, it's the place that it's different between males and females, i.e., Oisa Malcolm, right? The place that he has a bris mila. So Tanra Banan Kois Vin Tillin Al Gabi Or Behema Tahira. One goes ahead and writes Tillin on the hide of a kosher animal, the Al Gabi Or Chay Tahira, or even a, the, the, the hide of a, a kosher wild animal, a kosher Chaya, the Al Gabi Or Nevelas Treva Shalem, or even on top of the hide of a nevela, right, of an animal that died without shechita, or a trefer animal basically had a hole in it that made it a trefa. Shalahem, benichrais, besaron, and then you also, you go ahead and you wrap it in its, uh, in its hairs. Benichrais, begidin, and you also go ahead and you use its sinews to go ahead and uh, tie it up, the uh, sinews from the kosher animal. And the halacha mashizina that it is wrapped in its hair uh, after you write it on the parchment or after you have the parchment before it's uh, you know put in its compartments and also that the, the compartments are, are, are tied up with the uh, sinews from the kosher animal. But you don't go ahead and write tefillin not on the hides of non-kosher animals and non-kosher wild animals. You certainly don't have to tell me that also animals that died without shechita. Or, or, or a trefa of non-kosher species, you cannot go ahead and write tefillin from it. And you, you don't go ahead and wrap them in their hair. You also go, don't go ahead and use the sinus from the non-kosher animals. This is a shadow that one be, uh, person from, I guess, Beitusi asked Yeshua Hagirsi. So he says, How do you know that you don't go ahead 
and you write tefillin al on, on a non-kosher animal. So they see. He says, "Lamanti a taras Hashem b'fiicho." Right? So it says over there that it should be the taras should be in your mouth. So dabar mi dabar hamoyza b'fiicho only for something which is motiv for b'fiicho. So el miato al gabi or nevelos for trefos. That's the case. If it's something motiv in your mouth, so why uh, for a kosher animal? Why are you allowed to go ahead and use the hides of a nevel or trefos? If the animal wasn't shechted properly, you're not allowed to go ahead and put it in and eat it. Or if it was a trefos, you're not allowed to go ahead and eat it. So why are those permitted? So I'm going to explain to you what this is. I'm going to give you a parable. The Shnei B'nei Adam, Shnei Chayvu Hariga. Two people that were Chayv to be killed, they, 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 were, they were sentenced to be hanged. Lamalchus from the kingdom. Echad Hargo Melech, Echad Hargo Ispakalitor. Right? One, the king hanged, and the other one, the, uh, the executioner did. So which one is more mishubach? Which one was basically right, more chashuv? That was the king who did it. So, if, so in other words, in that case, so just because the king killed it, they killed that person, that person is more important. So, so to over here, by a nevela or a trefa, right, it doesn't die through man, through shechita. It's killed by Hashem, right? Hashem killed the animal without going through shechita. So obviously, this kosher species animal is really good because Hashem killed it and not man. So therefore, that's the reason why that animal, that hide, is mutter to go ahead and um, that, that, why that hide is mutter to, uh, for a person to go ahead and use it for its fillin. Tell me, if that's the case, okay, you should be able to eat it. The Torah says, even though it might be a higher level, the Torah says, you can't go ahead and eat the uh, nevela. And you're telling me to eat it. He said, okay, you're saying good, right? You're saying good. Uh, and your reasoning is good, and therefore I won't push you anymore. Fine. Ah, I am Mishnah. So bottom line, so ain oisin hilumi the Shabbos. One is not allowed to go ahead and make hilumi on Shabbos, right? Rashi calls it shmuya, right? It's like a like a, a, a brine, a very a strong um, uh, salted uh, dip. So one is not allowed to make hilumi on Shabbos. Aval, turn the page. One is allowed to go ahead and make salt water, right? Combine the two and dip in it his bread and the nice and then put it in his in his in his cooked dish. So Amr Le, so Amr Le, Aleph, Rabbi Yaisi, I don't know. So Amr Le, so Amr Rabbi Yaisi, Hello, who Hilumi? It's Hilumi be meruga me muat. Right? Isn't it hilumi? Isn't it considered a brine, whether it's small or big? And the Gemara will explain what, what the Rabbi Yesi's reply is. And the Gemara says that this is considered to be salt water. Right? A person, what is considered salt water? There's mutter. A person goes ahead and puts, water, uh, puts oil first in the water or in the salt, and then he mixes the other one. In other words, so in order for it to be permissible salt water, you can't go ahead and mix the salt and the water together. That you can't do because that looks like you're preserving. That looks like you're doing something for later on. Rather, if you use oil is for part of the ingredients, and the oil can either be added with the water and then add salt later, or it can be added with the salt and then add, add the water later. So either one of those ways is mutter to go ahead and make salt water. You just can't go ahead and make, put the salt in the water because then it looks like you're making uh, preserves or pickling. So let's see the Gemara. So my Komar, what, what, what's going on here? What's this conversation? So I'm Rabbi Yehuda, I'm Rabbi Shmuel HaKikomar. Ein oisin mei melech marubin ho oisahu mei melech muat. What it means is when he said you can't make brine, right, it means you can't make a large amount of salt water, but you can make a small amount of salt water. And that was, I'm Rabbi Yehuda, I'm Rabbi Yehuda, I'm Rabbi Yehuda, I'm Rabbi Yehuda, I'm It's the same thing, right, whether it's large or small, right, l'chayra, it's the same thing. So why is one mutter, one is not? So therefore, and so that was the conversation. He brought the... And the question was, Rabbi Yaisi, last or Lahatia? First of all, also Rabbi Yaisi, when he says, isn't it, whether it's big or small, the same thing? So is he coming to say it's always Mutter, or is he saying it's always us, or which one? So Rabbi Yehuda, Lahatia. He was coming uh, to permit all types of it, because Midalai like, Kitani, Rabbi Yaisi, Asir, Oyser. But in fact, he doesn't say Rabbi Yaisi, Oyser. Since he didn't really say Rabbi Yaisi, Oyser, so it uh, must be coming to Matir. So I'm a lay rabba, ha, me, tani, safe. No, the safe says, e ve'elu hei me malach mutarim. This is the salt water that's permissible. Michlal, the rabbi yaisi laser. It must be that until now he was saying it was usher. And I was when he, by the fact that he kind of says, okay, this is the mutter way to do it. Obviously, what he was arguing before was basically saying it was the usher way to do it. And therefore, making the salt water either way uh, would be uh, usher. 
and Ella on the rabbi Lasser the chain is that so the rabbi says really he's coming to Aster. So the Rabbi Yechon says he was coming to ask her, it says uh, any type of brine, whether small or large. And Tana Melachis only learned, a nice name, a melach, Ruben la says the seicha, a kivshan shabasecha gistra. A person is not allowed to go ahead and make a, a, a salt water by a large amount in order to go ahead and basically to go ahead and, and to pickle vegetables, right? If they put them in some sort of, you know, broken clee, broken cleaves, I guess they, used, they had no other usage besides basically to put dips in, so they couldn't go ahead and use it here. But he can go ahead and make salt water, more than a small amount of salt water, and the hen, to eat his, uh, his bread, or to put that salt water with his, his cooked dish. And Amr Rabbi Yaisi, the Chimi Bey, Shalom, Ruben, Mahalom, Moatim, Halu Asur, Mahalom, Mutar. We say just because one is large and one is small, so the large one is also and the small one is Mutar. Yamr Malachim, Ruba Asur, Malachim, Moat is Mutar. Then people are going to say, oh, doing small, you know, a large amount of Malach is Asur, but a small amount of Malach is Mutar. It's Elav. Excuse me, Ela Elu of Elu Asur, really to make all kinds of this uh, uh, fish brine or this this type of salt water is Asur, right? Asur uh, hate. Elu hate me Malach, and this is the only permissible way to make salt water, Hamutar, which are Mutar. Nice and Shemen Umalach, oh Shemen Umayim, right? You may, you mix the oil with the salt or the oil with the water, Ubovach, La Yite, Mayim Umalach, Lechachila, as opposed that you don't put the water and the salt together. Rather, you go ahead and you put the, add the oil first and then with one of the other ingredients, and then you only go ahead and add either the other, the water or the salt. Fine. So, Tani Rabbi Yehuda. So, uh, so it says there, that's a Rabbi Yehuda, Bar Chavivo, in Oisei Memelech Azim. You can't go ahead and make uh, uh, Melech salt water Azim, right? What does it mean? So a strong salt water. So my me melech azin. So Rabbi Rav Yisib. So Rabbi Rav Yisib. Rabbi Amar Tavayu. Cold shah beats itself up ahead. Anything if the uh, if the egg basically would float in it, that is considered to be very uh, uh, you know very thick. Uh, the common. How much is that? So Amar Rabbi Yeh trey tilsa milcha the tilsa mai right two thirds salt and one third uh, water. La mai avdi way. So, and what's it used for? I'm uh, so, so, uh, right? Oh, the guy is for, for, I guess, to, for fish, for brine to go ahead and to, I guess, they used to go ahead and, and, and mix it with the fish in order to, I guess, bring out the, uh, the flavor. And Tani, Rabbi Huda Bar Chaviva, says, Rabbi Huda Bar Chaviva, a mochin sinun ubeitz of the shops. You cannot go ahead and salt a radish and an, or an egg on Shabbos. A radish is usher, however, ubeitza muteris. But the an egg is permitted to go ahead and uh, and use it uh, and and uh, and what's it called and and salt it on Shabbos. And Amar of Nachum Meresh Hadim Alchad Puga right and says in the beginning, I used to go ahead and salt my radishes. I mean, I've suited come right, and I thought that actually I was basically taking away from its flavor. I was running damar shmuel. Right, pugla uh, churfa mali. Right, so he he said a a the, something which is very sharp and very strong is beneficial. So he thought he was basically ruining it by salting, because I guess by salting it you, you take away the sharpness. However, haven the shmila the chad isa ulav amar. However, once I heard that which uh, Ula said, but marava malchi kishrei kishrei, then Eretz Israel they used to go ahead and salt right many uh, uh, lots of. Uh, radishes. So, so I, then I no longer salted them. However, but I would dip it. In other words, I wouldn't salt them a bunch at, at, at one time, but I would go ahead and dip it in the, uh, uh, dip each one individually uh, to salt them, and that wasn't like uh, any sort of preservation. And Tani Rabbi Huda Bar Chaviva, Esrog, Sinon Ubeitza, so a, uh, uh, an Esrog, right? A, a, a radish and an egg. Umalek we pass in the chitzon. If it wasn't for the outer shell, einan yaitzin they mind the elam. Right? We would never. They would never come out of the stomach. They would always be the intestines. Um, so that was understand by the, I guess the, the the radish and the estro because you have the outer, but the egg obviously you don't have the eat the outer uh, the shell. So it could be referring to the white part of the egg, and obviously not the shell because the shell we don't go ahead and eat. Uh, and Kiyosu Rav Dimi Amar, when Rav Dimi says, says Amar Mi'elam Loi Tava Gavar Biyama Sedom, right? Person never sank in the uh, right in the Dead Sea, right? The, the, the Sea of Sedom, the Dead Sea. Some Rav Yosef Hafucha Sedom, right? 
stone was flipped over, and Hafu Chamiba, and your word should be flipped over. Why? But so nobody ever sank, but a board can sing. It sinks. I'm like, I love me, boy, come on. No, it was, it was a form of love me, boy, come on. Not only Kashura, not only a board that never sank, that normally boards don't sink in any waters. Even a person who normally sinks in other waters in the world, beyond the Sodom, like Tava, right? In the, the seas, uh, in, in the Dead Sea, in the Sea of Sodom, a person never uh, drowned. So, Lomai Nafkamina, so what's Nafkamina? He had the Rabin. So like that, which Rabin was going, he was going the stone, right by the banks of the uh, of the Dead Sea. Summer lay Mahul Mushi Mahani made the Shabbos. Can you go ahead and basically you know wash your face or wipe your face with his water and Shabbos? Summer lay shabby dummy. So it seems to be okay to just you know wash on the outside. So Mahul Miftach, what about to open and close your eyes? Right? Open and close your eyes. Maybe that's the type of medicine. Samalu Zulo Shamati says this I never heard. Shamati. But he said I did hear something similar. Uh Dama Rabzera says says Rabzera, Zimnim Amar Lame Shmeid Rav Masna, Zimnim Amar Lame Shmeid the Marufa. The idea is something that sometimes was said in the name of Rav Masna and sometimes said in the name of Rav Ufa. The the Tervayu on both Rav Masna and Rav Ufa, both have heard of Mishmeid Dabu the Shmuel the Levi. Both have heard the names of the father of Shmuel and Levi. And what do they say? Wine inside, right, the eye is usr, but on top of the eye is mutter. The other one says that, uh, uh, you know, spit or saliva, uh, I guess, you know, raw saliva even on the top of the eye is usr. So which one said which? It's logical to say that the father Shmuel was the one who said that wine on top of the eye, excuse me, the wine in the eye is usher, but on top is mutter. Why? Because Shmuel, his son, said, Adam is allowed to go ahead and dip his bread in wine and put it on his eye in Shabbos. So where, where did Shmuel know that one is allowed to go ahead and apply wine to the outside of his eye? The Shmuel, man, who did he hear from? The Shmuel, did he not hear from his father? So if that's the case, if the wine statement of putting a lot to put wine on the outside of your eye is from Avur the Shmuel, then the other statements of what? Then, then the other statement of putting saliva, right, on top of your eyes, Usr, who did that come from? But then we also have Shmuel, who said that even raw saliva on top of your eyes, Usr, the Shmuel Leiman, who is that from? If you're saying the Shmuel also statement is coming from his, from his father, right, Levi didn't say either one, because both statements are, we know of Shmuel, and if they're both from his father, then either one said it. Rather, Shmuel indeed, indeed say two statements, and only one of the statements he heard from his father, and the other one he heard from Levi, and both of them were quoted in terms of, you know, Abu the Shmuel and Levi, but we don't know which one came from who. And Omar Maru from Shmuel, Shura Adam Kilirin Merv Shah's person allowed to go ahead and basically soak a Kilorin. A Kilorin, I guess, was used uh, for, uh, to, to uh, heal one's eye, right? Uh, to, to, to use it, I guess, some sort of pouch or something, to, uh, and he's allowed to go ahead and soak it uh, on Friday. And then basically go ahead and apply it to his eyes on Shabbos. And one is not, we're not cheshit, that's not considered to be being a refua on Shabbos, and it's, it's more to do. Pikuach Nefesh. Yeah, well, not Pikuach Nefesh, even as, not even Pikuach Nefesh, even to go ahead and medicine on Shabbos, is also because a person, if it's not needed for pikuach nefesh, is also because a person might come to go ahead and crush medicines. So therefore, we don't want him to go ahead and take medicine on Shabbos unless obviously it's for pikuach nefesh. But if it wasn't pikuach nefesh, even taking the medicine is also because one come might break. So by Levi, Havi Koi Kamei the Marukva. So by Levi, he was in front of Marukva. Chazi the Havi Mai Tzupasach. So he saw he was basically opening, and then and, and he was he was closing his eyes. So he said to him, uh, to do all this, to put it on and then to open and close it, that certainly is not mutter. 
because that's similar to taking medicine. Shmuel Shalach Le Rabbiani Le Marufa. Shmuel once sent to Rabbiani Le Marufa. Lishdi Le Mar Mihenach Kilorim. The Mar Shmuel. So he said, "Do me a favor. Can you send me some of this Kilorim? Right? We need some Kilorim treatment uh, from uh, Mar Shmuel." So Shalach Le Shaduri Mishnini Lecha. He says, "I'll send you. I'll send you as much as you want." Right, delay tame at Sarain and oh no, I say that I'm not generous. You want it, I'll send it to you. Right, Elo Hachim or Shul, but this is what Shmuel says: Tova Tipas Sainain Shacharis. What's better than using these coloring on the, your eyes? To use a little cold water in the morning, the Rachitas Yadam Raglayim Bechamim Arvis, and then go ahead and wash your hands and your feet with warm water in the evening. That's much healthier for you. And the cold clothing should be able. That's healthier than all the kilaron in the world. And Tanya Amel Hachis will learn. Ama Rabbi Huna Mishum Rabbi Huda. Teva Tiva Sainin is better a, a small amount of cold water, shakras in the morning to go, you know, wash your face. Rochitz is the Daimar Glaim, but Arvius, and wash your hands with warm water in your your hands and your and, and your and your and your feet in the evening. We call Kilar Shabbat more than any of these Kilar in, in the world. And then we will stop here. Um, Shkayach, everybody, for coming today. What time is it? All right, 8.48, got to go, Davin. Everyone have a wonderful day and be well.